am at Leach Botanical Garden today, and we are with an artist, we're with Anna Zell, and Anna has something called botanical printing as her beautiful craft work. And so Anna, we're looking at these, we have all kinds of leaves on a piece of fabric. So what exactly is botanical printing? Botanical printing is uh, a new process that has come about in, oh, maybe the last 15 years or so that um, I've only learned about it recently, oh. where working with fresh or dried plant material leaves um, that I choose to do this craft are uh, the Japanese maples are often really good printers, uh, the blackberry leaves that we have here, plants that are rich in tannins. They have a lot of acids and pigments, but it's the interaction with iron and tannin. Um, working with natural fiber plant material, we soak the, the fabrics often in iron solution, and then the plants, the smoke bush, the crane's bill geranium, the potentilla, the blackberry, they will contribute and interact with the, the tannins that they have in pigments with the iron and create permanent lasting prints so on the fabric. So it'll draw that out and it'll make a design of mm -hmm. itself on the fabric. Um, I, you can help me uh, roll up this scarf that I've laid out and once it's bundled up, I have a finished shirt Over there here. Okay. that um, they have to be steamed or cooked for it to become permanent okay. for that interaction. And um, so it's so. kind of a quick process. So you kind of soak this first with the, um, the iron, iron, then you place out your design with mm -hmm. all the beautiful plant material, roll it up, mm -hmm. and then steam it. Steam it for an hour and a half. Ah, and yep. so we're gonna, yep. we're gonna, I'm gonna help here. I'm not the artistic one, so I'm just kind of helping. And we're gonna lay this plastic over. Okay. And so you've picked beautiful plant material here, but are there some plants that we don't want to work with or aren't as beautiful on prints? There's leaves that don't have a lot of tan in mm. them. So they're not going to give you the same print that we'll get from, say, the blackberry, mm -hmm. but we can still use those leaves. Um, we just use them in a different way. We, we end up getting more of a silhouette instead of print um, detail from the leaf itself. And one of those plants you mentioned was bamboo. Is there another? Ginkgo doesn't print well. It has a great looking leaf shape, but uh, there are leaves that don't have a lot of tannin in them. So we're gonna be back in just a few minutes and we're gonna unroll a piece that has already been processed. So we're ready to unwrap this. We took the string off, we took the plastic off, and as Anna said, we're gonna see how everything turned out. So here's a sweet gum leaf. And so as you're unwrapping it, you're gonna pull things off. Oh, ah, look at that. Very cool. And that's some of the lac. I added a dye carrier cloth in here using lac, which comes from a, a insect. It's also what shellac is made oh, from. Okay. The, the dye color that they get is this beautiful, brilliant burgundy. And the leaves are still so much intact, I would think that they would just all disintegrate. That's no, interesting. no. And so now, once we get this all uncovered and take all the leaves off, what is the care after? So we're gonna wear this, we're gonna have it in our well, collection Well, we here. need to, there's still a lot of uh, iron and, and tannin left from the printing process in the shirt. Mm -hmm. So I rinse it really well and wash it. I actually like to use just some liquid laundry de detergent, just a few drops, mm -hmm. and rinse it, uh, wash it, rinse it well a couple times. Um, after care for many of these can be machine wash, line oh. dry. Mm -hmm. um, I make sure that they look at so you sometimes get extra uh -huh. extra pieces there. extra pieces <laughs> so this was an Look old cotton that. sheet that i used to carry the dye the Look and place it on the shirt where i wanted it well that is just so unusual and look at the prints they're just you get the leaf lines you get the, the veins, leaf details all the that's details. from the iron so some of the leaves this was cherry 
uh, didn't have as much detail in there, but you notice we still got the good outlines. Mm -hmm. So those leaves that you were asking that don't print really well, like the ginkgo or the, the bamboo, you could still do something like this and get that wonderful leaf shape from them. So Anna, it's kind of like Christmas. You really don't know what's <laughs> happening until you open it and That's see what's sure. going on. Some of the carrier cloth, I wasn't sure how they'd print on the back, but we got little Little surprise. Mondrian splashes of color, <laughs> yeah. It came out so beautiful. And so you do teach classes here at Leach Botanical, but then can I we do. get in touch with you another way? Certainly. I have Anna Zell Designs Facebook page. That would be a good way to contact me. And I'm always interested in furthering this really um, exciting process. <laughs> it's kind of addictive. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you can get addicted too. So go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to Leech Botanical. You can check their events and see when Anna's classes are here, or you can go to her Facebook page. Thanks so much. It's just such a creative idea. Thank you very much.